Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. And you might be thinking, another video, but this is the Sani Sesh. And you're thinking, what's a Sani Sesh? So this is the first sporting event that I'll be taking you guys through. So it's the first event and you're thinking, what the hell could it be? And it is the European Champions Cup. And yes, I'm not on about the game that you see on FIFA, the tournament you see on FIFA, sorry. It's the European Champions Cup, otherwise known as the Heineken Cup, which is rugby. So today's special day, the finals between two French teams, it's La Rochelle versus Toulouse. La Rochelle have never won the Heineken Cup slash European Champions Cup, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to call it Heineken Cup because everyone likes beer. So Heineken Cup is the one. So they've never won it. Toulouse have won it four times. So they're going for their fifth championship. It's a big final, some big players on display. So I'm going to be taking you guys through what a day's like for the average fan. So without further ado, let's get changed into some proper attire. So here we are guys. I'll be wearing a Lions jersey and you're thinking it's two French teams and it's not exactly international rugby. But listen, I've always loved this jersey. This jersey is the South Africa 2009 one, which obviously the Lions are again touring this summer in South Africa. So it's a beautiful jersey. Um, I've had it for a while. As you can see, it's a bit of wear and tear on the HSBC logo, but what can you do? And then uh, obviously I like wearing jeans. So I've got some nice black jeans to go with that. It's comfortable. And then, yeah, the biggest one and the most important thing, I think, is this poncho that I got from Portugal two years ago when I went to go see England versus the Netherlands in Gimaraes, which was the Nations League. I bought this, I think it was for about 20 euros, and it was absolutely hailing down. It was torrential in Gimaraes that day. And um, I found this this little um, department store and they had this pull and bear poncho for about 20 euros. I think I was like, listen, that's going to save my life. And it clearly did. And uh, obviously... I'm not saying I've got a sentimental value to it, but I obviously uh, took it along with me. So that's obviously the main stuff that I wear kind of thing. I mean, I mean, obviously if you guys like wearing, you know, jogging bottoms to events, that's fine. But I prefer wearing jeans, I've always been comfortable. But like I said, it's not London Fashion Week. So uh, wear what you want and go from there. So here are my sketches and you're thinking, oh God, sketches. But you know what? They do really, one. they do wonders for me. Well, they honestly do. I mean, my ankles are as bad as Harry Kane. So they're perfect. I mean, there's a lot of walking in them. Um, in a day sometimes to go to these events so always wear something comfortable i mean like i said some people might like shoes as their comfortability but i like obviously these sketches and um listen if ryan gosling was here he would definitely say um that what am i wearing because these are my 407s so yeah how's what that happened to your feet what do you mean these are my 407s oh they're 407s can i see them yeah these offer a lot of support right whoa come on what are you in a fraternity? Are you insane? So we've got to the train station, Birmingham International. I'll be seeing you guys now at London Euston. So normally I get to the train station from Zolio train station, which is a lot closer to me. But I'm meeting my friend who's an absolute fanatic when it comes to rugby. And we're gonna be going from there to Waterloo and then from there to Twickenham. But for now, I'm gonna get onto the train. So guys, got to Waterloo, here's the man himself, the legend, trying to get to Twickenham. So yeah, we got a tube from, obviously met up with Miles at Euston, then got the tube from Euston to Waterloo, and now we're going to go through the gates and get to Twickenham. So see you guys on the other side. So landed, arrived in Twickenham, got a short walk to the station, so the station, sorry, the stadium. We're gonna be there, but the atmosphere is looking pretty good. The ambiance, I'm buzzing. I've got goosebumps. It's been a while since I've been to a sporting event. It's been the first one since, let me think now, Man United, Manchester Derby uh, last March. So 2020 March. I'm buzzing. It's gonna be a great occasion. Obviously here's Miles as well, living life. Hello. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you on the other side on the walk, guys.
Right, so we've got here. This is Twickenham right here. You pumped for the game, Miles? I'm so pumped up. Mate, I'm it's been so long. It's been so long. When's the, when's the last event now we actually went to then? It was last March. It's a, uh, Milan, Milan Derby. Derby. Milan Derby. So, obviously, we're watching rugby today, so it's a completely different sport, although they are kicking some football. However, we're looking forward to the game. It's going to be a good game. Even and if it's French people. If it's French, we... Listen, though, some good players on, on display. Yeah, no, so you've got teams, good Dupont, teams, good teams. you've got uh, Tamak, Kobe. you've got Kobe, you've got Kano, so that's in Toulouse. Toulouse. Obviously, Laura Shell a bit more Man City new money, but we'll see how it it's gonna goes. be good. But we'll see you guys in the. So we're just on our way to our seats. See, this is the concourse. Miles, of course. This guy and drink, right? Best relationship ever. <laughs> we'll never cheat on alcohol, especially beer. It's a long concourse, obviously. As you can see, we've got really nice pitch side view seats as well. So yeah, it's gonna be a good one for sure. It's good to be home, Miles. Finally, it's, about it's good time. to be home. I feel gassed. I feel I so happy. Wait, I can't wait. But yeah, to be fair, I think we're under the the, uh, the shelters as well, which is quite good. But yeah, we'll stay dry. We'll still, that's the main thing. But yeah, let's get the game started. Tony Marshall scores a game. Yay! Oh! Miles, that has opened the game up now, son. That was shocking. He's got to wrap his arms around there. It's a high shocking. tackle. Shocking tackle. Shocking tackle. No, not even an attempt to wrap around his arms. Awful. Awful. I oh, know, yeah, trust. <laughs> so much abuse. Here we go. Beautiful. Actually, the Toulouse defence is holding out so far. Great tackle. Oh! Oh, knock on! Oh, my lord! The counter! 
Oh god, here we go. Oh my lord, this is mental. <laughs> Have a try going on. Nice offload. Nice offload. That's what one man advantage should do. And I think that is game for Toulouse now. La Rochelle need two tries, so it's going to be very, very difficult. Two tries in about 10 minutes with one less man. It's going to be difficult, but let's see. Very special year this year, so you never know. Toulouse needs to defend like lions here. Pardon the fun, despite me wearing the jersey. This is so close. Oh my goodness. It was a fantastic game. Of course, got to wear the mask for COVID. Second half was absolutely quality. Although I must say, La Rochelle had many missed opportunities. What do you think, Miles? Uh, well, I still think that La Rochelle should have won. I think there was, they, they missed like three yeah. penalties. Yeah, well, they, yeah, at least three. If they scored them, they would have won. And obviously they missed the conversion as well with the try yeah, second yeah, half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even the fumble try, so they were really close to the try line. And then, I don't know what happened, I think they knocked on. He tried, I don't know he tried to score it and he put his hands out and then he got hit out of his hands. Yeah, so it was absolutely ridiculous, but listen, it was a great game of rugby. My voice is gone. Miles is, I don't know, to be fair, Miles is not drunk as much, but he's still had a great time. <laughs> I had to watch the game. You know? yes, yeah, <laughs> you had to, to, enjoy. Myself, I to enjoy it. It's the first event in a while, so we have to obviously enjoy ourselves, but it's been a great sesh. We, we, we're gutted, I don't know why. We don't even support any of the teams, but... <laughs> I don't so know why. It was, such a, it was a really good place. game. It was a good yeah, game. Yeah, it was a good game. Was, I don't know why I've got my mask on for crying out loud. It was a great game. And listen, I think La Rochelle should have won. Miles thinks so. It's funny because yeah, Miles yeah. actually said La Rochelle were going to win, but they, I, they I, nearly did. Underdogs, I, I, had a, I had a feeling. They're so close to it as well. It's, with one man down, well, red card so true. early on, to, like, to be that competitive the whole game is pretty impressive. It's true. They, they, they should have won. I agree. I mean, I had to lose, but I didn't think that. La Rochelle would play so well compared yeah, to Toulouse. Yeah. They have a big team, that's the thing, they have some heavy guys. I know, but you know what's crazy now? Toulouse have five European Cups. Yeah. Which is like, I think it's the most, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, it is. Obviously, quote me if I'm wrong. No, but you, you are right. I'm right. You're Listen, right. I, love, I know my stats are right. I'm a stats man, all right? People have bagsmen for like their strikers for football, but I'm a stats man. But listen, it's been great. And obviously, now we're on the way to Twickenham Station. And then from there, Waterloo. And then from there, we're going to go a different way home, but. Uh, We'll see you then. Right, so got off from Twickenham. Well, Waterloo now. So from Twickenham Station to Waterloo. And I'm now going to get the tube to Marlebone Station, which will then allow me to get to Solihull train station, which is obviously a lot closer to me, the Birmingham International, which I did get in the morning. Obviously, Miles has now gone his own ways. And I'm going to be going my own ways. It was a great game. My voice is gone. It's absolutely, I don't even know why. I don't even support either team. This is what sport does to me. Sport is an art. And the players you play are artists. So it's been fantastic overall. Um, it was a great game. I think me and Miles obviously spoke about it earlier. But La Rochelle should have won even if it had less men. It was great. So see you guys on the other side.
to reach Marlebo. Just gonna get the train back to Solihull and then go from there. So guys, on the train. The game itself was brilliant. Had goosebumps the whole match. Um, it was a brilliant game, brilliant atmosphere. It's great to hear the fans. The game was great as well. It was, it was a spectacle. Twickenham is a beautiful stadium as well. So um, yeah, it's been a great day. And um, just be getting off Solihull very, very soon. And um, we'll go from there. Right guys, finally back in my humble abode. Been a very long day, I must say. I've been on my feet for about, I don't know, 12 hours or so. My voice is completely gone, as you can see. You're probably thinking, as you gone through puberty again? It's so deep. But um, yeah, I just, I don't know what it is with me in sporting events. I literally lose my head. I get involved with a chance. I mean, I didn't even support any of the teams. As you can see, I was repping all the Lions. So yeah, but it was a brilliant game. Um, the atmosphere is fantastic. The experience as well, going to Twickenham was brilliant. So, I mean, I hope you guys obviously enjoyed uh, the journey or what I should say, the Sani Sesh, the first of many, I should say as well. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, took a lot from it. But make sure to tune into the next video because I'll be talking obviously a little bit about the game, um, but also about what kind of stuff you need to take with you to these events um, and what kind of things you need to look out for, which um, will definitely be important for a lot of you when you know planning these events. Because it's been a long day and you always need to plan ahead for these kind of uh, sessions. Um, but make sure, like I said, to tune into the next video. But for now, thank you very much for watching and peace.